everybody. My name is Tim Bevan. I'm up here in Vermont, and this is my painting, Little Rose, by James McNeil Whistler. If you go to facebook.com forward slash Whistler Painting, you can see where we're trying to take this painting and prove that it's real to the experts. We have outstanding evidence, but one thing that we have not ever looked at is why was this painting taken out of the frame at one point and put back in with modern nails? I do know there's a period before I owned this painting for 14 years where it traveled to a person in New York City um, after they had left New York City and shown to a very high-end gallery owner. I believe that it may have been taken out for traveling. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove these nails and try to see what is underneath this tape. Now, I'm scared to death to do this. We're going to go very gently, slowly, uncut, unedited. This is happening in live time. So we're going to try to remove these modern nails. I don't... For over a year, I didn't even dust this thing because I'm not an art expert. But these modern nails aren't giving it any justice. And there may be another theory on this painting, which it possibly could have been just a rolled up oil study and framed only because it was a Whistler by the first man who got it from Whistler Studios. Now these definitely are very easy to remove, so I imagine whoever took this out wanted these to come out easily again. Real life time here, people. Oh god, this is scary. See how it has a frame number on it as well, and there's even some engraved numbers under this paint that we are trying to figure out what they say. Um, I'm actively talking with uh, our um, scientific testers who may be able to enlighten us a little bit more about the canvas age and the inks. Okay. As you can see, this has hung many different ways over the years. This was shown in a gallery in 1955, the Addison Gallery. And here we go. We're also looking for clues under this, maybe more markings inside the frame. Okay. So we're giving this a quick look over here. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. This was painted black. There's lots of different paint on this frame. Very unusual. Let's also get a look at the front of the frame, too. Like, if you zoom in, someone really put a lot of time to get the color they wanted out of that frame. Okay. Let's come back over to the painting. Let's see what she looks like without the frame. Very interesting. So it did have this black protective paint put on, but it had some older brown tape put on. Very unusual. It's so light. I'm so used to carrying this box with bubble wrap in this giant frame. Now, I'm not going to dissect this tape too much but I'm curious just to see what's under it a little bit because like I said there's some engravings in this really deep green paint here so we can lift it's lifting quite easily Zoom right in here, Levi, and let's look at this together. So if 
we look right there, it's just covering the front tape. So that canvas is not stretched around. So nerve wracking. Okay, now I want to get a peek. Oh, look at that. That's what I want to see. So that is the canvas. And that's exactly the proof I wanted. Let me turn this around. So if you look at the canvas coming up, it's cut very uneven. It's very low here. It's very high up here. I'm going to pull this back a little more and get some of that brown tape off. Any evidence we can find with more markings. I'm just going to pull this back. We're not going to dissect it too much just because I want proper tools. That is old. And that was very frail. That's probably why they put that tape in there. And I cannot see whether they use nails or glue. Oh wait, those are nails. Little tiny nails, exactly one inch apart. Hold that canvas in. Now, my theory is this. This, obviously, this canvas was done rushed. And the theory out there is that some of Whistler's lesser known items uh, fell prey to people taking them at parties um, that he was very well known for and also there's a, a lady who I'm trying to prove her connection to Clavette that seemed to like to take a few things and sell them. Um, this doesn't totally prove that but it does show us what this canvas is like underneath. And this is a good stopping point for us anyway until we have real true experts to peel the whole thing back. But very interesting and very old. So again, go to facebook.com forward slash Whistler Painting and we'll be putting more evidence on there of a little rose. Thank you very much.